Lee here, and it's been a little while since I've done one of these videos. I taught uh, three week-long music camps in five weeks. Shout out to Kaufman Camp and Swananoa and Camp Bluegrass for having me. Those camps were a lot of fun. Hope to see all of you at some camps next year. I've wrapped up all the camps I'm doing for this year. Uh, so I haven't done one of these string videos in a while because of that and because I wanted to do a more thorough test of the Diderio XS. Uh, for anybody who's new to these videos, I am looking for a replacement to uh, replacement for what many, many highly skilled mandolin players consider to be the me best mandolin strings there have ever been, which is the Diderio EXP line, specifically the EXP 74CM. And that EXP line was discontinued two years ago. And a whole bunch of us in the pro mandolin world are scrambling to find a replacement because we're all running out of strings. And I've only got a few sets left and a number of my friends are completely out now looking for what they're going to use. The, uh, the replacement that Diderio provided was the XT and it really doesn't sound anything like the XS. Uh, very lackluster replacement. Uh, so I'm not even doing a video on those. I don't think I've done one. I'm not planning to do one. Um, but I have tested the XS and I wanted to give some more time to really test the XS because there were some things I really liked about it. They are very slick feeling strings and I thought that was fantastic. There's nothing that feels as slick as those strings and that's nice because you can do some more slidey sort of stuff. And so I wanted to test that more. And the problem with the XS for me has been that they don't have the big fat tone to them. You know, they just, um, there's something very, there's there's a they're all bright is kind of what it comes down to and there's not as much fatness to it i feel like the slickness of them does a lot to make up for that so i really wanted to put in some more time to test them out so i went through several sets the longevity of the strings was great um tonally though i was still a little disappointed so now i'm moving on to the next thing to see what else i can find Diderio has said that the XS will be coming out with additional gauges, and I'm curious to find out if thicker gauge strings will help add a little bit of meat to that sound. Uh, so the next one I've moved on to is from Mapes. These are the Mapes, uh, it's just a medium gauge set, uh, Mapes mandolin, mandolin strings, cured with Appalachian moonshine. And they've been really great. Uh, so, so far, I think they're going to be a top contender. You know, I have but one rose to give. And that's going to go to possibly these Mapes strings. We'll see. Uh, so I'm going to just play a little bit and tell you what I like about them. Uh, as always, I'm testing with the same pick with this blue chip TPR 50. And uh, same pick, same mandolin every time, trying to get the same mic placement. I'm not necessarily playing the same things every time, uh, but it still give you a pretty close comparison if you want to go back and watch some of the previous videos. Now, I have been playing almost exclusively with this Tone Slabs pick recently. That's Frank Sullivan's new brand, and I think they're great, but I'm not going to use it for this video because I want to give you as much of an apples to apples comparison as possible between these strings. But check out the Tone Slab. I think you might really like it. I certainly do. Their bevels are really amazing. It's like butter. Uh, so watch some of my other videos. You'll see this. If you follow the Play Nately channel, uh, you'll see me using this pick in some other videos. But back to the old standby. And I'm just going to play a little bit and tell you about what I like. string is what I'm really excited about. A lot of sets that I tried, when I'd go to play on that A string, I couldn't get my signature tone. And if I can't have my signature tone, I want no tone at all, I'm done. So the A string and the E string on these 
has that fatness and you know they're lighter gauge than the exp 74 cm this uh, is an 11 on the e string and uh, i'm used to an 11.5 and then this is a 15 on the a string i'm used to a 16. but i'm getting tone that is very similar to the exp 74 cm very multi-dimensional fat round tone it's just got a lot of color and wet sort of a sound to it. Not one dimensional, it's not dry, it's not tinny. It's got really great sound. Moving over to the DMG, they're a little bit more kind of woody sounding. A little bit brassier than what I'm used to with the EXP 74 CM, but it's really got a lot of power to it. And one of the things I'm really happy with is the chop is really here with these strings. Able to really make it bark. And a lot of the strings I tried out, the chop was not there. Uh, for some of them, it really was. Um, that's one thing that caused me to keep looking after the XS is the chop's just really not there. Uh, but with these, the chop is there. I hear my toddler crying. He's woken up from his nap, so I guess I'll have to wrap this video up fairly soon. Uh, so the other things that I value in strings uh, is the slickness I've talked about. The A and the E are reasonably slick. They're as slick as the EXP 74 CMs were. The G and D, you can really feel the windings. They're not super slick. I'd be really curious to try maybe the A and E with another G and D to see what I could figure out, but I really don't want to land on a mixed set of strings if I can help it, because that's a huge pain. Uh, but I think I could get past it being less slidey on the G string, but I just feel like sometimes I don't quite make my slides that I'd be used to making. So it requires a little bit more oomph behind it to do those slides. They've stayed in tune really, really well also. And the other thing is, these are like $8. They are really cheap to buy. And you know, Mapes is one of the few actual string manufacturers. So there's a lot of string companies that their strings come from Mapes. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what makes it necessary to have so many brands. <laughs> um, but there's a bunch out there and a lot of them are coming from Mapes Piano Wire. So, it's, uh, you know, you may not have heard of Mapes, but they are the real deal. This isn't just some hole in the wall, weird company that's decided to come out with some mandolin strings. They are a major big deal in the string industry. Uh, so I think it's worth you checking out for $8. I mean, gosh, um, I've been, I've had these on about four days and I've been playing with them a lot. Um, I've actually tried not to play quite as much because I was worried about wearing out the strings before I could make the video. It's the only set I have. Um, but I can't stop playing. Um, I enjoy playing the mandolin, but also I'm really just liking having a good tone uh, that I like coming out of these strings. I didn't know what to expect at all. So I've been actually trying not to play them too much because I didn't want to wear them out and make a video on worn out strings. But I've probably got about three or four hours into these strings so far. I have been all indoors, but I haven't uh, turned them black really yet at all. There's little signs that they could be headed that direction. Um, for those of you who know me well or who have watched a lot of my videos, then you know that I corrode strings really fast. That's why I play coded strings or part of why I also liked the tone of the EXP 74 CMs um, coded or non, that's the, that's the tone I liked. Um, but I also benefit from coded strings because I kill strings so fast. I am unsure about, somebody told me that cured with Appalachian moonshine means that these strings are coded. I could find zero details about these strings on the MAPES site, like nothing other than that they're mandolin strings. There was no information on their website that I found that isn't on the front of this thing. So I don't know for sure if these are coded, but they have been surviving me 
they can go on Facebook. The Mapes Piano Wire strings are marked safe from Nate Lee. Uh, and they haven't worn out yet. So I'm, I'm really happy with them. Uh, so, yeah. I guess I don't really know what else to say about these strings other than I like them and they're a top contender. So you can expect to see them come back in the lightning round once I've tested a bunch more stuff. And I have a whole bunch more things I'm going to go through and test. Uh, for those of you who have been asking about all these other types of strings, I am planning on testing as many as I can. The only ones I'm not going to test are light gauge strings. I know I'm not going to like those, so I'm not going to test them. Uh, but I will be testing a lot of other stuff, including some stuff that I didn't think I would like. You know, the Mapes strings I've had laying around. I think they were a freebie, actually, from somewhere. And I just hadn't tested them because I thought, oh, I'm probably not going to like those. I don't even know anything about them uh, other than I knew of the company. Uh, but then I tested them and they're great. So I really am going to do my best to leave no stone unturned. All right, everybody, make sure to follow this page if you want to see more videos. And if you want to learn how to play cool stuff, follow the Play Nately page. And I'll see you all in the next video.